Welcome back. Uh, we are beginning what we call, I think, and I believe, the holiest week of the year. Uh, we've gone through another Lent, another year. And my guess is that this Lent cannot be compared to any other. Certainly the experience of the COVID has affected all of us. And my guess is that many may feel that penance and sacrifice have been with us for quite a while. Lent and loss this year have gone hand in hand. Loss of jobs, loss of money, loss of hugs and handshakes, and maybe even loss of loved ones. I just recently experienced the loss of my dad who had a long and challenging life, but he contracted the virus and I was fortunate enough to see him before he died in order to say goodbye. When we say goodbye to a loved one, it seems that life is never the same after that. Life is actually filled with hellos and goodbyes. It seems that it's a part of the journey that we call our life. I lost my mom about 15 years ago and the toughest loss I ever had was the loss of my twin sister who died when she was only 34 years of age. She was in a car accident on her way to serve in the missions in Sumter, South Carolina. She was also a sister of St. Mary. We entered the convent together. And at that time, not only did I lose my sister, but I felt at that time that I was also suffering what I felt was the loss of God. This might have been the greatest agony of all. I felt betrayed by a God whom I saw all my life, and I was taught all my life that this God loved and cared for me, a God whom I believed loved and held me in the palm of his hand. Oh, God who called himself my father now seemed cold and indifferent to my pain. I found myself settling into a new relationship with God, which was actually no relationship at all. I found myself speaking God's name, putting God's prayer on my lips, and I mastered very well the art of pretending belief, but buried so deeply within me was another loss, not only losing my sister, but losing God as well. The God whom I treasured in life was no longer the security blanket of my past. Another God was born in me, a God of mystery, a God of confusion. Could I accept this God into my life? I kept asking myself. A God who took my sister from me? Well, time heals, and after a while, I began to recognize that God had sent me signs all along, signs that I didn't recognize because my sight was paralyzed by grief. But there was a day when I finally begged God to give me a sign that I would finally recognize as a sign from him, and God did. I picked up the Bible, I closed my eyes, and I begged God to give me a sign that I would finally recognize as a sign from God. I begged God to send me a passage in this Bible that would be a message from him that would tell me that all was going to be okay. So with my eyes closed, I opened the Bible. I put my finger on a passage or perhaps God put that finger on that passage. And I opened my eyes and I prayed to God that this would be a message from him to me. I opened my eyes and I read the passage that my finger was placed on. The passage was from Ecclesiastes. Love is stronger than death. Love is stronger than death. Death does not have the last word. Love does and love surpasses death and leads us into the eternal. I will see my sister, my mom, and my dad again. And then I began to wonder if this is why we have a period of time called Lent. Is this why we have Holy Week? Perhaps the church gives us this time to help us to become a little bit closer to trying to figure it all out. Like, will death and the eternal make sense? Will Christ on the cross solve the puzzle of wonder and confusion and questions? Is this season of Lent given to us 
as we begin the holiest week of the year as a sign, as a message from God that all will be okay. Through this suffering, through this suffering and death, there will be resurrection. Jesus shows us that love is continued into the next life. And how consoling is that? That this love does not end here. And then to understand that Good Friday and Easter Sunday are really one and the same event, all happening at the same time. Maybe not two separate and distinct events, although two separate and distinct emotions for sure. Somehow suffering is redeemed and makes sense only through the resurrection. And the resurrection only makes sense, I guess, through the suffering. And our task is to believe and hope and be true to the love that we have in our heart. And that love will be redeemed into eternity. So, final thought. If this Lent and this Holy Week, we feel loss and also lost, let's remember, Jesus shows us the way. The way of the cross will lead to the resurrection. And if we still feel like we can't find God, don't worry, because God has already found us. God in Jesus is the one who will redeem us. He is the one who sets us free. He is the Savior of the world. Have a wonderful, meaningful, and holy, holy week. Thank you.